Okay. I'm Toyo from ISCAR. Uh, today I'm talking about photoluminescence study of ice electronic centers in silicon, especially beryllium pairs and carbon oxygen defects. Uh, first, I'm talking about the introduction of my presentation. Lead out of nuclear spin state is a key technology for realization of quantum information and quantum computers. Especially, optical readout has many advantages for uh, both long range information transmission and uh, the initialization of the qubits by optical method. Nowadays, it has been reported that the uh, photoluminescence spectroscopy performs the optical readout of nuclear spin states in silicon as this figure. Uh, this uh, broad spreading uh, has been observed uh, from the ekiston band to phosphorus uh, in non isotopically uh, controlled silicon. This broad spreading uh, is caused by the uh, inhomogeneous distribution of silicon isotopic composition. Uh, while hyperfine spreading due to phosphorus uh, has been observed from the phosphorus band ekiston uh, in isotopically purified 28 silicon because, uh, because of suppressing an uh, inhomogeneous distribution of silicon isotopic composition. Uh, each fine splitting uh, corresponds to the uh, nu uh, phosphorus nuclear spin state, that is, up spin state and uh, down spin state. Uh, this result indicates the possibilities of uh, the optical readout of a single phosphorus nuclear spin qubit. Moreover, uh, the uh, laser optical pumping, uh, laser optical pumping to one of the fine peaks uh, is a hyperpolarization of electron spins and uh, phosphorus nuclear spins in, a, in less than one second. Therefore, uh, optical readout of the uh, nuclear spin qubits has many advantages for not only long-range information transmission, and, but, uh, but also uh, the initialization of the qubits. However, the ekiston band to phosphorus has low radiative efficiency because uh, the non-radiative decay, especially OJ process, is dominant in the recombination. The OJ process is a process uh, that the energy is applied to exciting excess carrier, not electron, uh, not, not, not photon, not luminescence. The ratio between radiative process and OJ process is about 1 to 10,000. In the other words, we must about 10,000 times for, detect, for detecting the photon from the phosphorus nucleus being curved. Uh, the dominant OJ process uh, makes the optical read out difficult. Therefore, we focus on ice electronic centers. Ice electronic centers have the same number of valence electrons uh, as the host atom, uh, so there, uh, there is no OJ contributed carrier, like this figure, and uh, OJ process cannot occur. So the ice electronic centers have um, a higher relative efficiency than that of not only phosphorus, but also usual donors and acceptors. So uh, we uh, research the ice electronic, uh, optical properties of ice electronic centers for detection of photons carrying quantum information of nuclear spin states, which ice electronic centers have. Ice electronic centers have uh, two types. Uh, one is an ice electronic acceptor. Ice electronic acceptor catches, catches the electron first due to the strain field. And the uh, hole, hole is uh, caught by the Coulomb potential of the electron. So that this center uh, has an acceptor-like behavior. Then it is called the uh, ice electronic acceptor. Another is an ice electronic donor. Uh, the strain field uh, catches uh, the hole first, then as uh, the electron is uh, uh, electron is trapped by the Coulomb potential of the hole, so that the center has donor-like behavior. Then uh, it is called uh, ice electronic donor. Now uh, we research the substitution interstellar beryllium pair in silicon as ice electronic acceptor, and uh, the interstellar carbon, interstellar oxygen in silicon as the ice electronic donor. So in this presentation, 
at the first topic, uh, I'll show the uh, uh, photoluminescent study of the barium pairs in silicon under the magnetic field. And uh, as a second topic, I'll, explain, I'll also explain the uh, optical properties of carbon oxygen defects in silicon, especially luminescence from the triplet state of the keystone bound to carbon, industrial carbon, industrial oxygen defects in silicon. Before I show the result, I'm explaining, I, 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 I'm explaining the photoluminescence equipment. Uh, the photoluminescence measurements were uh, performed, uh, performed with a Bowman D8 Fourier transform interferometer and uh, uh, cryostat that with a superconducting magnet. The magnet, magnetic field was applied parallel to light axis. The PL spectra were collected uh, from the samples in the cryostat in a strain free manner. The excitation was provided by the 1047 nanometer line of the Neo GM wireless laser. So, as a first topic, I'm talking about photoluminescence study of barium pairs in silicon under magnetic field. The collaborators are Keio Shizawa, Katsuhiko Naito, uh, Professor Kohei Ito in Keio University, and uh, Takeharu Sekiguchi and Ma Professor Mike Seabrot in the same Fraser University. Uh, this slide shows the sample preparation of brain doped samples. We used uh, non isotopically controlled uh, FZ uh, silicon substrates. Uh, after vacuum deposition, making a brain film on these substrates, uh, they were near at 1000 centigrade in argon atmosphere, like this figure, and, and they are, uh, after nearing, they were uh, quenched to room temperature. This surface was lapped with silicon carbide and edged with hydrofluoric nitric acid. Next, I'm explaining why we research the photoluminescence, of, the photoluminescence study of barium pairs in silicon under magnetic field. It has been reported that a barium pair in silicon is a substitutional interstellar pair structure. Uh, the previous work of the photoluminescence and the magnetic field uh, shows that the barium pair has a 001 or 110 uh, crystal axis of, the, axis of the symmetry, like this figure. However, other previous work, such as optical absorption measurement under, stress, under external stress or of initial calculation, concludes that the uh, barium, barium pair is oriented in the 111 crystal axis like this. In addition, the previous peer study under magnetic field reported that the uh, equistons bound to barium pairs behaved as the ice electronic donor, uh, while optical absorption measurement shows the barium pairs are the ice electronic acceptors. The optical properties of barium pairs in silicon under magnetic field are very important for observing the nuclear spin state of the ice electronic centers. However, the previous Zimmer study has a few contradictions. So we need to re-experiment about uh, the photoluminescence study of barium pairs in silicon under the magnetic field. This slide shows non-phonon lines from barium pairs in silicon. Non-phonon lines mean the luminescence without phonon assistance. Therefore, the non-phonon lines are reflected by the quantum states of electrons and holes bound to the impurities. This figure uh, shows the non-phonon lines from barium pairs in silicon without magnetic field at 4 Kelvin. Uh, the vertical axis is photon energy and the horizontal axis uh, indicates uh, photoluminescence intensity. Several non-phonon lines appear because of electron-hole exchange interaction and internal strain due to the barium pairs. Uh, these vertical lines are eigenvalues of this Hamiltonian when these fitting parameters are used. B prime, B, B double prime and A line uh, have the uh, two degenerate, two and one and three degenerate states. If the magnetic field is applied to um, a, a, uh, applied equivalently to all of the barium pair configurations in silicon, uh, B prime is divided into two peaks because of two degenerate states, 
and B prime is also uh, separated into two peaks. Uh, B down prime uh, has no splitting under magnetic field, and A line has three splitting under the magnetic field. <coughs> then next, I explain the uh, Zeeman study uh, over Zeeman study. Uh, the, this figure shows the uh, photoluminescence spectra and the A tesla at A Kelvin in upper part, and the experimental danger uh, of the peak cyst due to the magnetic field along 001, 111, and 110 crystal axis in the lower parts. So this, uh, this fig uh, these figures show clearly that uh, uh, Zeeman splitting pattern is the simplest uh, for the 001, uh, 001 magnet field. Uh, it means that the uh, Zeeman splitting pattern corresponds to the number of degeneracy about each, each no-phonon lines. Uh, in addition, uh, the number of splitting of the uh, uh, the number of splitting is doubled for the other two direction. This uh, one 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 magnet and the one one zero magnetic field. Uh, this result can be explained by assuming that a barium, each barium pair is oriented in one of the crystal crystal graphical directions equivalent to one 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 crystal axis. This figure uh, show uh, all, of, all of the barium pair configurations uh, in the 111 class. Uh, the, uh, 001, uh, uh, the all, 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 the, all barium pair orientations remain uh, equivalent uh, under the 001 magnetic field while uh, the, uh, they are they are separated into two inequivalent two inequiv configurations under 111 and 110 magnetic field. If it was assumed that a barium pair was a uh, barium pair was oriented in uh, 001 axis according to the previous work, the this magnetic field 111 magnetic field should have led to the simplest Zeeman pattern. But our our experimental result shows uh, that the 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 uh, magnet, 001 magnetic field uh, causes the simplest Zimmer pattern. So uh, we conclude that uh, uh, barium pair, uh, a barium pair in silicon has a 111 axis of the symmetry. For, con for confirming the barium pair structure quantitatively, uh, we use this Hamiltonian. This part is also used to no non magnetic field spectra, and this part. Uh, uh, means the effect of the magnetic field. First term is a, a linear Zeeman term for the bound electron state, and the other term uh, means the Zeeman term for the bound hole state. Assuming the barium pair axis, uh, barium pair has a one 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 axis of the symmetry, uh, we fit the experiment data by using this Hamiltonian. So uh, this, this slide shows the experimental data and the theoretical fitting uh, of barium pairs in silicon under 001 magnetic field. The, these solid lines are obtained from our theoretical calculation, uh, uh, theoretical calculation about this structure. So the, this uh, consistent fitting uh, uh, Shows the, shows the variety of our assumption that a barium pair has a 111 axis of the symmetry. Uh, when, when we uh, calculate uh, uh, like this, uh, we use this, these fitting parameters. Then uh, this slide shows uh, when, when the uh, 111 uh, magnetic field, uh, when, when the direction of the magnetic field is 111, uh, our assumption makes uh, two inequivalent configurations like them, like, like these figures. The orange, orange solid range are obtained from, from our theoretical calculation about this structure, and the yellow solid lines are, uh, mean the theoretical fitting about yellow lower configuration. And uh, this slide shows the uh, experimental data and uh, uh, our theoretical calculation about both configurations. 
uh, this uh, consistent uh, fitting uh, also uh, shows that the shows the variety of assumption that the Bayesian pair has a one 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 axis of the symmetry. Uh, when the direction of the magnetic field is one one zero like this, uh, our assumption also makes the two equivalent configuration like these figures. The blue solid lines are obtained from the calculation about this upper blue structure. And the uh, brown uh, solid lines uh, mean the theoretical fitting about uh, brown uh, lower configuration. Then uh, uh, this uh, slide shows the uh, uh, experimental data of theoretical fitting about both configuration. So, uh, Therefore, uh, the uh, experimental data and the theoretical calculation uh, shows the uh, Bayesian pair in silicon has a one-one-one axis of the symmetry. At the last talk of, of this topic, or the first topic, I'm talking about uh, G factors of the whole bound to the Bayesian pairs. This table shows the uh, G factors of the whole bound to acceptors and Bayesian pairs and their bind holds binding energy. Uh, this table uh, shows clearly that the uh, difference of the binding energy causes the changing of the uh, G factors of the holes. Please note that the uh, uh, binding energy of the holes bound to barium pair is close to the Z of the bottom. Okay. Then, uh, and uh, the G, G factors of the holes uh, bound to barium pairs is very similar to those of the bottom. Therefore, we, uh, so our, uh, uh, the, these values from our calculation imply that the G factors obtained from uh, uh, G factors uh, reflect the acceptor like behavior, and the equiston bound to Bayesian pairs behave as ice electronic acceptors. Summary of this topic. First, our peer spectroscopy and the magnetic field reveals that barium pairs in silicon had a one 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 axis of the symmetry. Second, the G factors obtained from a result reflects the acceptor like behavior of the barium pairs in silicon. And uh, our research our, our research solves a few contradictions of the previous photomes and the magnetic field. Uh, it's, uh, it's finished uh, on my first topic. Thank you very much for your kind attention. <laughs>